Welcome back to YouTube fellow fellow rats. Today I want to show you uh, how to download Bandicam, the cracked version, so you have the complete full version. Um, you'll see other videos of this and probably the same exact crack. This works for the 2.0 version and of course this is what I'm recording with right now. Um, I'm not going to be downloading everything, I'm going to just show you the steps. I mean they're very simple and real easy to do basically just by downloading the crack and then you're good to go. Um, I'll have all the links down here below in the description. As long as if you need any help, just comment below if the link don't work for the crack, then I will try to help you get through that and help get a better crack into you. But these one, this one is, this one's working with the newest update of Bandicam, as that's what I'm using, and I'll prove it here later on in the video. But for right now, I'm going to show you the couple links you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Um, since I've already got a WinRAR here pulled up. Oh, Wrong thing. This one here. What you're going to do is you're going to click uh, your, if you have a 64 or a 32. I'm a 64, of course. So I click that, and of course, it immediately starts downloading. Simple as that. It might say trial, but technically, you have it for all eternity until you destroy your computer, I guess. So after that, once you download that, then you can actually go to the Bandicam site, and you can download the official one. Just click download here. And you're either gonna, you can either click download now, bandysoft.com or softonic. I prefer softonic. I don't know why. It's just one I've always used for a good amount of time. And it starts downloading. As of course you see, I already have it, so I'm just gonna discard it. Then leads you down, down to the crack. Now, since I couldn't get a direct link for you all, well, a place where you just click and starts downloading like this, basically do. What I'm gonna do is. You you just click this link here. I'll have it down. Well, I got it right here for you. I already set up. You'll click this button right here. Once you click that, it's immediately downloaded. Um, that's as simple as I can make that. There's no login to this to my site, so it's right away. The only way you have to log in is if you use the forms. Um, so yeah. So I'll exit off all that, and then go over here because that's why I have my crack put up. Then whenever you open, you see a crack.exe. Move this to your desktop or somewhere, it don't matter what you move it, you can move it later on so you don't have to look at it anymore. And what you're going to do, so mine automatically runs as administrator. If you don't know how to run it as administrator, just right click, run as min. Then right here, this part's about the easiest thing you can ever do. But first, get off that subject. What you're going to do is you're going to download Bandicam. You're going to run it. Make sure everything's working properly. If it's not, re uninstall it and re-download it and try again. Make sure everything's working. Then you want to install the crack. Um, you might get a little setup on the inside saying to uh, not install it first, but it works better if you do. In here, you'll get the. You'll come here. You can change this to whatever you like. Um, for me, I just changed this part right here. So, as you see, it says on hacks, of course. If I bring this over, I gotta find it again. Right here, it even tells you. So I'll move that back out of this game. And whenever you do that, you will click Crack Bandicam. I've already done this. But once you click that, it'll go through a little process. And what you want to do after that, you're gonna click Register. Then you'll see another button up right in this area. It'll say Register as well. Then you click that. Then you exit off and load up Bandicam, and bam. You have Bandicam installed, it works all the time, you never had to use the crack again. Then, for instance, I had this on my desktop, but I actually moved it over into my secondary hard drive. And as you see, it's right there now. You'll get these three files, you can move them wherever you like. I didn't separate them, put them all in different places, because I didn't want to mess with anything much more. I just wanted it off my desktop, so... That's all that of this video. If you have helped you out a lot, hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more uh, how-to videos. I'm always trying to do more things. How about the economy, you know? Because some of the stuff is just way too expensive. Again, thanks for watching. Hit that like button below.